大康自然健康中心成立于一九八七年，率先将自然疗法、同类疗法同埋碗创水疗引进香港。我哋提供各项整全性治疗方式，排除体内毒素，增强自身免疫系统，一切尽在大康自然健康中心。电话二五七七三七九八，网址三个 w dot n a t u r a l h e a l i n g dot com dot h k。以下节目内容纯属主持及嘉宾个人意见，与本台立场无关。好，啊、各位网上听众，你哋好，啊、我系袁大明，好高兴咧，今晚又能同大家一齐咧探讨一啲近日香港发生嘅事情，或者正在困扰香港嘅问题。咁我哋香港出路网上电台嘅节目嘅目的咧，系希望为香港寻找一条出路。能夠真真正正解決香港面對嘅問題，咁我哋唔係希望咧係只係同大家一齊大肆批評下政府、某機構或者某人對某事處理得唔好，大家發泄一番就算。我哋希望咧能夠深入啲討論問題嘅根源啦，了解問題嘅來龍去脈，從而提出一啲具體性嘅解決方法咧，係同埋建議我哋每一個人喺呢個情況之下，其實可以做啲咩嘢，令到問題真正解決呢？咁好啦，咁今晚咧我哋咧、呃、就有兩個、呃誒、呃、題目，咁其實呢兩個題目都有少少相關嘅嚇。咁、啊、我哋首先呢，大家相，我諗相信大家香港人都好留意㗎啦。就最近呢，誒、呃、嗰、那個誒三六奶粉個污染嗰個情況，咁由初初嘅誒、呃、一個牌子嘅嘅三六集團嘅嘅嘅嬰兒奶粉開始呢，咁發現呢嗰、那個問題呢，其實係越發越大嘅。咁最最近呢，就發現原來差香港差唔多成二十二家嘅。誒、呃、廠家嘅牌子裏面呢，其實都含有呢一種嘅、呃、三聚六胺呢一類嘅污染嘅嘅個即係個工業嗰、那個嗰、那個化合物質嘅。咁好啦，咁你睇返網上其實好多呢方面嘅資料嘅嚇。咁、啊、原來開始嘅時候呢，就都係二零零八年啦。咁咁中國嘅乳品製造廠呢，三六集團呢，係生產一批咁樣嘅嬰兒嘅奶粉，咁受咗化學嘅原料三聚精胺污染，咁導致呢。誒服食嗰個受污染奶粉嘅嬰兒呢，就患上嗰個腎結石嘅問題。咁臨床呢，診斷呢，就認為係泌尿系統嘅結石嘅。咁現在為止呢，都已經發現咗成一千二百五十三個人，已經有兩位兩位嬰兒呢，已經係死亡嘅。咁當然呢，呢件事引起世界啊同埋社會角度嘅高度嘅關注啦，同埋對於嗰個製奶粉嘅製品嘅安全嘅開始啊有啲擔憂嘅。好啦。咁呢件事呢，就即係一路咁發展落去呢發現呢嗰個影響嘅呢，唔單止係三六奶粉啦，連我哋香港人都好即係好熟悉嘅蒙牛，因為蒙牛最最近而喺香港呢，係即係嗰個銷路非常之高嘅。咁伊利啊、光明啊、啊啊盛源啊、雅士尼啊呢啲，其他呢都出現咗嘅。咁好啦，成件事嗰經過係點樣樣咧？咁原來呢，早期呢，喺有一個新浪呢，係有一個關係有關嘅方面呢，係知道呢。嗰、那個三六內部嘅郵件裏面顯示呢，其實喺二零零三年三月以嚟呢，嗰、那個三六集團呢已經接到唔誒、呃、一啲消費者嘅反應嘅，就發現呢，有啲嬰兒呢係開始食用呢個奶粉之後呢，出現呢尿液嗰度變到變顏色，同埋尿液裏面呢有啲有啲果粒嘅現象嘅。咁啲香似呢，就即係同嗰間誒、呃、奶三六嗰個集團嗰呢已經係反映呢呢方面嘅。咁嗱，我要知道呢，即係通常呢，呢種三六清胺嘅。嘅嘅誒工業用品啦，係需要長期服用呢，先至會導致嗰個腎嗰個問題嘅。咁所以呢，雖然話三月發生呢件事啦，被發現呢件事啦，咁其實可以咁講啦，係之前相當長嘅時間呢，其實呢一直都有呢種咁樣嘅奶粉存在咗嘅。咁可以話呢，真真正正開始發現嘅時候呢，係揭露呢，係反而係民民眾嗰、那個一個網一個網民呢，喺啊喺嗰、那個誒、啊、中國嘅內部一個著名嘅網站呢。叫做誒天涯社區咁發表咗兩次咧呢種嗰個奶粉嘅問題嘅，咁呢件事呢，係差唔多係五月二十同埋二十一號誒出現過嘅，咁咁後來呢，好得意嘅，咁誒後來呢，三六集團嗰度誒有關嘅人士呢，就竟然呢，就係即係用即係用奶粉嘅即係賄賂嘅方法呢，就要求呢個個網民呢。就攞到佢嘅密碼呢，係要求佢清除咗嗰個網上有關嘅呢方面嘅信息嘅
。咁即係話呢，其實咧呢件事呢係誒，佢哋其實佢都知道㗎喇。咁佢當時嘅處理手法呢，係企圖呢係將呢個呢件事呢係隱瞞落去啦。咁將呢啲咁嘅資訊呢係用即係誒，即係企企即係壓抑落嚟嘅咁。咁結果呢，慢慢地呢件越嚟越多人知啦嚇。咁最後呢，發現呢。个问题咧系诶揭露呢个问题嘅进一步咧就系原来三六集团咧其实系一个中外合资嘅公司嘅，咁其中最大嘅海外嘅股东咧系新西兰嘅恒天然嘅公司，咁呢位诶喺新西兰呢位呢呢间公司咧喺八月份嗰时候咧就已经开始知道奶粉出现问题啦，咁于是乎咧就马上向中中资方面嘅同埋地方政府咧就要求咧。系即系回收翻下呢诶呢个集团所产生嘅所有嘅奶粉嘅，咁但系咧经过一个月嘅诶嘅时间咧，都未曾有任何嘅啊嘅嘅奏效啦，即系可以话咧冇冇任何正式嘅诶嘅回音嘅。咁当然咧，嗰个新西兰公司咧就只有咧就向新新西兰政府咧同埋佢总理咧系报道呢件事嘅。可以到九月五日咧，咁新西兰政府咧先至咧就下令咧。啊，新西兰嘅啊嘅官员咧，就直接咧就即系晓个地方政府，直接同中国嘅中央政府咧系报告呢件事嘅。咁中国嘅政府咧先开始咧严正对待呢件事嘅。即系你可以睇到咧，成个过程咧，即系即系其实系显露出出中国咧，其实系好多时候咧，诶三番四次系遇到呢啲问题咧，佢哋通常咧都系唔系即时咧去去正面去处理嘅。往往咧都係用不同嘅手法咧，係企圖咧係去啊去掩飾佢嘅。咁當然啦，有種解釋啦。咁因為啱啱就係誒奧即係奧運嘅時刻啦。咁咁誒官官方咧都唔希望咧將呢件事咧係即係宣揚得太犀利嘅。咁所以咧，甚至乎咧係中國嘅誒嗰個誒、嗯、官方咧都企圖咧就叫各地嘅傳媒咧係唔好報導呢件事。即、就、係、是、你都要經過咧中國嘅誒審核啦。啊，中央電台咧，先至可以將呢件事報導出嚟嘅。咁即係，所以我哋睇見呢件事嗰個背後嗰個問題咧，真係唔係只係誒奶粉受污染啊，導致到誒啲、啊、小朋友出現嗰個誒腎臟嘅腎臟嘅問題。其實背後咧，其實反映咧係中國咧係仍然好多方面咧，都係個即係佢哋個所作所為咧，其實都令我哋即係我哋係值得擔心嘅嚇。咁、啊、據我所知咧，其誒嗰、啊那個問題咧，其實唔係只係奶粉咁簡單㗎，係嘛？啊，李永康，你話你其實你你對呢件事嘅跟進，你發現係好耐以前已經有呢呢類嘅問題。首先第一樣嘢，即係三聚氰胺，到底知唔知係咩先？三聚氰胺其實呢，我日常生活都見到喎，不過你唔覺嘅啫喎。嗱，例如其實呢啲係一啲誒、呃、有石油提煉出嚟嗰啲化學物品嚟嘅，你日日都見得到嘅。例如你見到嗰啲膠嘅誒、呃、煙灰中呢。塑膠溶氣，但係佢又唔係，佢又加強嘅塑膠嚟嘅，即係佢係又又又好難令到佢誒爛啦，好難令到佢誒燒著啦，又好難刮得刮得甩佢噶啦，依啲咁嘅膠嚟嘅。咁做梗要做啲咁嘅膠咧，就令到例如我哋做傢俬都會用嘅，抬腳抬腳啲膠粒咧，就係、是、就係依啲就係依啲三聚氰胺啦。即係工業上呢，其實唔工業上係非常廣泛用途嚟㗎、嗯，即係根本就係一個好普通嘅誒、呃、化化化工原料產品嚟嘅。而中國呢，亦都係生產呢一種化工原料嘅最大嘅供應商之一。嗯，好，好啦，咁點解呢啲既然係化工原料，而家要加去食物嗰度呢？咁其實呢個呢，就講返起兩年前呢，有件咁嘅事啦。兩年前呢，就係喺美國嗰度呢，發現咗好多貓同埋狗呢。美國養嘅貓同狗呢，就係佢哋個腎呢係有時有腎，動物都開始有腎石。嗯。咁查一查，咁到底啲貓同埋狗點解會有腎石呢？咁查到佢啲誒罐頭，佢食一啲咩貓同埋狗呢係食嗰啲罐頭食物嘅。咁由中國。運過嚟製造同運過嚟呢，咁、嗯、法國裏面呢，就係有三聚氰胺呢一種嘢。咁點解要將呢啲咁嘅嘢三聚氰胺要加落去嗰啲食物嗰度呢？其實有個好重要嘅原因呢，就係呢，佢有個好好好好好嘅名嚟嚇，即係如果你睇返嗰個誒、呃、標籤呢，佢叫人工非動物性合成蛋白。嗯嗯。咁<笑>其實好多都好似
车力咁啊，我问我问你咁，人工非动物性合成蛋白，咁系咪蛋白咧？系，咁其实咧就唔唔系蛋白嚟嘅，佢系扮蛋白嘅啫。啊！<笑>即系话我加咗啲嘢落去咧，就可以令到嗰个蛋白嗰个质量咧就高咗嘅。即系起码喺测试嗰阵时候吓，咁你如果测试你你嗰种诶、呃、奶粉有有含有几多蛋白质咧，咁佢就会令到个测试个蛋白质嘅指数会会升高。系咁喺嗰啲动物嗰啲诶嗰啲诶食物里边啦吓，嗰、啊、啲都系有呢个嘅作用系咪？同埋原之前咧，其实咧原来发觉咧。呢一種咁嘅三聚氰胺咧，用得最多咧，就係俾嚟養牛嘅牛，食用嘅牛啊，即係你好中意食嗰啲牛排啊，哦哦哦，好彩我唔食，係，你好中意食嘅牛排啊，係，就點解咧？因為養養養養只牛咧係好貴噶，嗯，即係你要佢大咧就真係好艱難嘅，要幾年咁要等，係，咁你知道即係如果我一個好大嘅農場養幾養二三千隻牛，要等佢幾年？自大，咁我自有牛扒賣，咁樣好好弊噶嘛。咁於是咧就加咗依啲依啲咁嘅人工合成蛋白落去咧，佢嘅飼料嗰度咧，就令到佢咧就快啲大噶，即、嗯、係快啲可以可以增長蛋白啊嘛。係係。咁啊，即係快啲大，咁啊，即係可以快啲，即係變咗當佢做牛扒咯。係。好啦，但係咧，你有冇留意？從來都冇牛，因為有呢啲啊，只只牛應該食咗好多呢種嘢啦，即係只牛冇事嘅咧，係啦係。啊，因為只牛有分咁上下體型大噶嘛，係。同埋牛有四個胃噶嘛，係。個腎好鬼大噶嘛，係。即係到到要嗰啲咁嘅毒素咧，整壞個腎嘅時候咧，只牛湯咗啦。嗯。咁<笑>所以咧就揾唔到。所以你睇唔到呢個問題啦，即係你喺喺動物裏邊雖然咁長期都食緊噶啦，但係我哋就都睇唔到個腎腎嘅問題。係啦。但系点解咧？就系中国人实在太过贪心，即系如果佢唔系将佢做一个罐头，因为猫同狗个肾细好多噶嘛。嗯，你长期咁样食咧，咁只猫狗同埋狗个肾咪挨唔住咯。系，咁会生肾石，同埋会令到个肾咧会会坏咯。嗯，咁咁咪会会发现到呢件事咯。咁其实早即系两年前已经有相似嘅问题噶啦。系啦，咁然之后中国人咧再唔知错。再要將呢样嘢呢，就擺落去 B B 仔嘅奶粉嗰度，增加佢嗰個蛋白質个测测试时。其實呢，咧，猫系做为好蠢嘅，一定出一定出事噶嘛。系，因為 B B 仔嗰個肾比猫同埋狗呢更加脆弱噶嘛。嗯，佢一度，如果 B B 仔冇得揀噶嘛，只猫同狗呢，仲可以食咗其他嘢，可以食食其他嘢。系，个 B B 仔冇得揀，咁，净系净系食嗰只奶嘅啫嘛。系，咁啊，即系一定系会出事咯。咁结果就系应该要出事咪出事咯。好啦，咁嗱，如果你咁讲咧，诶、呃，即系有啲人都都指出下，即系现现时嘅人咧，嗰、那个肾病啦、肾衰竭啊、肾石咧，其实都好似系即系越嚟越多咁样。嗱，我我又俾个经验你啊，嗱，我唔知嗱，你你读读医学院嘅时候啊，系你发唔发觉你你住医院嘅时候咧，最多最多人病系咩咧？即系我个年代啊，系系诶，八、呃、十年代，八十八十年代。嗰陣時咧，最多即係醫院最大嘅部門咧，其實好睇嘅，睇佢睇佢個部門有幾大，嗯、你嗰個醫有幾多住院醫生，幾多 houseman， 幾多張牀咪知咯。嗯，係。嗱，最大嘅梗係心臟科噶啦。係。第二係腫瘤科啦。係。腎科唔係好多，唔係好多嘅啫。係。亦都你可以睇到冇咁多洗腎機嘅。早期嗰陣時候。你有冇發覺冇乜咁多洗，冇乜人需要洗腎嘅？係。換腎都換腎嘅更極少。係。通常係換肝嘅多。即係其實換腎呢，即係換腎同換肝都係大手術嚟㗎啦。係啦係啦。但係通常呢係換肝嗰個為主嘅，好少換腎。係。但係近呢近呢十年呢，你有冇留意啊、嗯？你就係睇馬院炒一炒啊，個腎科洗腎開開開得大好多喎。嗯。多咗好多人呢去去洗腎。咁即係我哋其實講下呢個問題呢，唔係只係啲婴儿啊，食飲食咗啲奶粉，其實根本好多人嘅食物裏面呢，都不斷呢係吸，即係吸取咗好多啲類咁樣嘅污染物質嘅。講多樣嘢俾你聽，<笑>即係呢一呢一種咁嘅 melamin <笑>啊，其實呢係好低好低層次去加落我哋嘅食物嘅添加剂嚟嘅啫，即係有啲更加犀利嘅
，更加犀利嘅层层层次嘅添加剂咧，系增加咗不同嘅，令到你嘅食物嘅指数不同咁增加咧，令到我哋快高长大，系有好多种不同嘅化学品噶。咁、嗯、你头先讲嗰个呢，好似我嗰啲素肉呢，都有呢个名噶，嗰、那个咁美丽嘅名呢。好彩我平时都冇食嗰啲假肉嘅啫。<笑>但系咧系啊，你讲嗰个诶咩非动物性人工合成蛋白呢，其实好熟口面喎，呢、這个字真系。啊系咩？系啊。嗱，因为我会睇 label 噶嘛，咁系啦，咁但系通常呢啲唔知佢咩嚟嘅咧，咁我都会放低嘅。系，因為通常呢，即係你話有啲合成蛋白啊 ，synthetic protein 呢，誒、呃，我通常都以為係植物裏面，係啊係啊，即係、啊、我一聽咗之後，一般人都諗住啦即係植物裏面提出嚟嘅係啦，即係唔係 meat protein 咁樣咯，只不過係植物嘅 protein 咯。咁但係而家講講下，唔係唔係植物 protein 咁。你諗下，如果係植物？嗱<笑>，好簡單啦 ，protein 最容易攞嘅就係大豆啦，系啦系啦，豆啊最容易㗎啦，系啦系啦。咁但係知要幾多黃豆、大豆先提煉到丁氏咁多多嘅蛋白質呢？嗱，咁當然啦，嗰啲食物嘅蛋白質呢都係誒，即係都唔係少嘅，唔係少嘅。咁誒、呃，但係即係而家而家你要睇到嗰、那個嗰、那個問題呢，即係個關鍵性呢就係、是。佢係佢係要令你喺個測試嗰陣時候呢，你驗出嚟嗰個食物嘅蛋白質嘅成分呢，係夠高啊嘛，係咪？即係你你可以睇到嘅，即係佢啊，其實佢最主要目的係要個食物嘅測試啊嘛，個標籤裏面要講係幾多，你要足夠啊嘛，係咪？咁我通常我哋都諗住呢，誒食物裏面誒嘅蛋白質好緊要啦，咁所以我哋好強調呢，我哋要吸收多啲蛋白質啊嘛。咁即係你睇個背後嗰個成件事嗰個推動力呢，都係咁嘅啊，即係佢唔會話。即係我相信植物性嘅蛋白唔係話唔係真係咁咁貴嘅，咁但係個指標上唔同咗嘛，做做到個指標高呢，係啊，咁就唔簡單啦。即係你唔可以話攞攞個黃豆嘅蛋白質呢嚟到做，咁黃豆蛋白質可能嗰個比例上嗰、那個誒嗰、呃那個蛋白質成分唔係好高嘅，咁變咗係做唔到佢嗰個標籤法所要求啊嗰、那個嗰、那個蛋白質嘅成分㗎嘛。系嘛？咁即係我大家諗谂下呢即係成件事嗰個問題嗰個出出现嘅原因呢，其實呢喺邊处呢？係我哋個標签法嗰度，係我哋個食物嘅標签法呢。呢啲咁樣嘅呢啲咁嘅昂居嘅條例呢，就逼到呢啲咁樣嘅商家呢，就出尽法宝呢，係將我哋個蛋白質嘅成分呢，喺個表面上要测到出嚟，要提高嘛。如果我哋冇呢啲食物嘅標签法嘅要求呢，我相信呢件事都唔唔会出现嗱。因为点解呢？你睇翻下个蛋白质嘅成分嚟讲吓，睇蛋白质嘅成分嚟讲，一般嚟讲呢，即系人奶嘅蛋白质呢，系占嗰个所谓卡路里嘅比例吓，即系蛋白质占卡路里嘅比例呢，系五个 percent 嘅，而马嘅奶呢，系十一个 percent 嘅，系高好多嘅，而牛奶呢，系十五个 percent， 羊奶十七个 percent， 狗奶系三十个 percent。猫奶系四十个 percent， 老鼠奶系四十九个 percent 嘅。即系你可以睇下呢，如果我了解我哋营养嗰方面嘅人体嘅需要呢，我哋人奶系只需要系五个 percent 嘅就够噶啦。但系呢，好衰唔衰呢？我呢啲咁嘅昂居嘅食物嘅标签化出现咗之后呢，就一味呢，就令我哋误导我哋咧，以为呢系嗰个蛋白质呢系要越高越好嘅。咁於是乎呢，牛奶本身。可能正常嘅健康嘅牛呢，有牛奶里面有十五个 percent 咧，个蛋白质嘅卡路里呢，嗰、那个卡路里嘅比例呢，系蛋白质出现嘅。咁但系咧，因为要达到呢个咁嘅标签法嘅要求啊嘛，同埋夹硬呢，系加啲咁样嘅毒药落去呢，就将呢个数据呢未提高咯。咁即系其实你谂一下，其实佢又冇咩蛋白质嘅成分嘅，系咪？我点解要咁做啫？其实主要嘅原凶喺边处呢？食物嘅標签法，我哋香港就最近就昂居居呢，就 pass 咗呢个咁嘅食物標签法。其實地球上有幾多人因為食咗啲嘢，唔知道食物裏面嗰個蛋白質嘅比例幾多，电碳电啊碳啊碳水化合物比例幾多，脂肪幾多而出現問題嘅呢？係完全係冇任何問題出現過嘅。點解我哋香港呢班咁樣嘅昂居嘅人，昂居嘅嘅立法會嘅嘅會嘅嗰啲人呢，會將呢啲咁樣嘅法例呢，係昂居居去去推去去即係。通過咗呢，背後成個問題呢，就係邊個人推動呢？就係、是、Codex a l i m e n t a r y 嗰班人。Codex a l i m e n t a r y 係咩人呢？就係、是、世界嘅大藥廠係推動㗎嘛。好可惜嚇，即係香港人呢，到今時今日呢，都冇咁樣嘅基本嘅常識呢。
即系医疗嘅政治嘅常识咧，系戆居居咧将呢条咁样嘅食物嘅标签化咧推咗啦。要两年嘅时间咧，系要我要香港啲啲啲啲入口商咧，系将所有包装嘅食物咧，系要符合呢样嘢嘅。其实呢件事咧，真系。我依家我我谂翻转头咧，即系香港人呢方面嘅政治嘅智慧系低到简直系惊人嘅。好啦，个问题即系点样解决呢 b B 仔系需要咩呢？系需要人奶啫，系咪？人奶里面嘅蛋白质嘅成分系五个 percent 就够噶咯。我哋系唔需要咧，好似夹硬咧系将个蛋白质咧牛奶嗰只牛奶里面嘅要加到个十五个 percent， 逼到啲啲啲啲公司咧就加呢啲咁样嘅。工業嘅用,用料咧，係將嗰個蛋白質嗰、那個嗰、那個檢查出嚟嗰個蛋白質嘅含量咧，係增加咗，係完全冇營養價值噶嘛。所以佢根本係佢做呢樣嘅目的係好明顯咯，係因為要符合我哋嘅標籤法裏面嘅所需要嘅蛋白質嘅含量咯。OK， 即係你有睇到個成個問題嘅根源咧，係喺嗰度嚇。仲、啊、有另外一個情咧，睇到咧，其實三六咧呢、這個牌子咧，係喺中國非常之大嘅，即係佢有一個好。嗯好誒、呃、高層次嗰、那個誒、呃那個品牌個地位呢，就係佢嘅免檢產品。免檢產品嗱，你你唔好聽話免檢產，哦咁咪即係唔使檢，任監乜嘢都唔係。係免檢產品其實一個非常之高層次嗰、那個俾一間公司嘅。誒、呃、嗱，如果佢要通過呢、這個即係有呢個免檢呢個咁嘅榮譽呢，其實佢喺之前十年呢已經通過好多嘅測試㗎啦。嗯，即系证明佢咧系都能够通过，同埋一样嘢就系佢自己嘅内部嘅测试已经好完善，可能佢已经有晒 I 数嘅证啊，已经有晒内部嘅测试噶啦。嗯，咁、嗯、其实如果你睇翻三六嗰个自己嘅网页咧，系佢系佢个测试程序相当之完善噶，咁但系都出事，同埋仲有嘢唔止佢出事，即系唔系净系三六一间出事、啊，其实你今睇咧，即系其实所有中国嘅。大牌子出奶嘅公司咧都出事，即系整个行业都出事。嗱，咁即系咧呢啲好多呢啲咁样嘅条例、呢啲法例咧、啊标签啊、啊嗰啲监管咧，其实系系可以咁讲咧，系令到人哋更加冇嗰个防心。即係佢以為嘩，嚇呢個大廠嚟嘅嚇，啊啊即係政府已經差唔多即係免佢要檢查咁滯㗎啦，叻到咁樣樣，結果咧就係、是那個個問題就係、是。然後爆發出嚟，嗱好啦，咁始終呢，我哋香港出路成日都講啦，係咪？咁呢個問題唔係細蚊仔個奶粉咁簡單，根本我哋大人裏面嘅好多啲食物裏面呢，所謂含有蛋白質嘅成分嗰啲嘢呢，都有機會呢，係已經加到呢樣嘢嘅，令到佢符合嘅食物標籤法嘅蛋白質嘅需求嘅。好啦，咁我哋點樣去解決呢？咁好啦，大家你聽下呢，喺我哋個喺今,今晚我哋誒誒嘉賓裏面呢。誒、呃，除咗誒、呃、我同埋阿阿阿李永康做誒、呃，即係誒、呃、主持呢個節目啦，我哋仲請咗誒兩位呢。其實呢兩位呢，誒、呃、以前都嚟過我哋個電台啊，同我哋探啊探討過啲問題嘅。咁就阿 Bella 啦，同埋 Bobsi 嚇。咁 Bella 同 Bobsi 呢，佢最近呢，佢就誒、呃、即係上一次大家有講㗎啦。咁佢推動到一個呢，叫做 Save the Human 一個 project 嚟嘅。咁我哋都睇下呢，就誒、呃、即係咩叫 Save the Human 呢？咁誒，我哋就會轉轉轉台㗎啦嚇，轉到英文台㗎啦嚇。咁大家相信，我相信我大部分聽眾都 OK 㗎啦。Welcome back, see you know. And Thank you. Good evening. Now I hope you understand, you know, what we just talked about, you know,、uh, prior. Yes.、Um, yes. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the it's the the we call you know the 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 melamine、uh, contaminated you know milk powder, and obviously you know. This is motivated by people's pursuit of、uh, high-protein food. Right? This is a contaminant designed to fool the testing standard for protein. It has no protein, real protein value, but because of a certain labeling criteria, certain you know、um, requirement that the you know, manufacturer are forced to 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 upgrade or to at least make the the food content、uh, protein. At a at a higher level than what it should be,、yes. right? But do we really need all this protein? You know, how much protein do we really require? You know, from the body physiological、um, point of view, our body protein are being recycled. You know, we don't really lose our protein that much. You know, amino acid protein will be broken down to different amino acid, and they will be reconverted in our liver for different things. 
with the exception of what we lost through our sweating, through our urine, you know, those are the, probably the real loss of, of, uh, of protein uh, uh, ingredient. But most of the time, you know, our body's protein requirement is, is very, very limited. Mm. And this is uh, uh, you know, manifested by the fact that the, the, the human breast milk only contains 5% protein per, per, as a percentage of calorie mm. and versus 15% in cow's milk. Okay. Now, I understand the Save the Human project it sort of in some way uh, help us to understand uh, the way we eat, you know, uh, make a big difference, you know, in our livelihood, in the well-being of humans on earth. So yes. what is the project that we are talking about here? Save the Human is a campaign. Mm. And it's a campaign to help stop global warming. And the simple and most effective way humans today can do this by sta- taking one measure which will reduce our carbon footprints immediately and reduce global warming by reducing greenhouse gases and of course increase our health and well-being and that is to go veggie to go vegetarian even better to go vegan so when we use the word veggie we refer to either vegetarian or veganism um, this campaign is in the process of being launched, so these are very early days, and of course um, we're seeking funding to launch this campaign. But recently um, I came across some statistics, some facts that shocked me. They absolutely shocked me beyond belief, and I could not believe what I was reading. And these facts were coming from the United Nations the Food Agriculture um, Organization, FAO. And basically, they're saying that 18% of all global greenhouse gases are coming from the consumption of meat and dairy. That is 18%, 1-8%. Now, if you compare this to all global transport, which is only 13 to 14%, that's all the buses, the cars, the planes, automobiles, ships. They only emit about 13 to 14% of all greenhouse gases. Now, how on earth is the consumption of meat and dairy contributing towards 18%? So, these are facts that people are not really aware of. Um, and the other facts um, that have been releasing is that 70% of all previously forested land in South America, 70%, that's seven zero, Mm -hmm. is used for livestock production. So that's also an alarming fact. 70% of all forested land in South America. Mm -hmm. And the other scary statistic is that at present there's approximately 60 billion animals which are raised every year for meat and dairy production that includes all the cows pigs fish fowl etc 60 billion animals per year while the population of of planet earth is only 6.7 billion so where is the food coming from to feed these 60 billion animals where is it coming from at what expense at the expense of our planet, at the expense of our well-being, at the expense of our future, by chopping down all these trees to, to grow food to feed the animals instead of feeding people and conserving this land for other uses. All the water, all the forests, the, the, the cost to feed these 60 billion animals is huge. Now, of course, these 60 billion animals have waste, and animal waste is much more toxic than human waste. And these animals, of course, release methane into the ozone um, through belching and and, and farting and and other ways. So these 60 billion animals are causing huge amounts of pollution to the planet. Unbelievable. And not many people are aware of this. So it dawned on, on me to do something about this. And the only way... I could think of doing something about it was to raise awareness through a campaign. And we've teamed together with Bella and Eve and a few other people who are very, very dedicated and committed. And we are working together to launch this campaign called Save the Human. 
Now, if you uh, uh, study some of the information available on the website, and including the one is called the EarthSafe.org. Yes. Okay. This is uh, started by uh, I think by John Robbins, who in the 1980s uh, wrote a uh, an, uh, you know it's a very important book called the Diet for a New America, and how your food choices affect your health, happiness, and the future of life on Earth. And then recently he wrote another follow-up book. It's called The Food Revolution, How Your Diet Can Help Save Your Life and Our World. Now, John Robbins, I'm sure people have heard of uh, Robin, you know, Baskin Robbins, right? Mm. And actually, Baskin Robbins' empire uh, you know, belongs to John Robbins' uh, father. And he's, he's actually the sole heir to the, to the whole empire. And John, John chose to, uh, uh, to, to, to lead a different kind of lifestyle, you know, instead of taking over uh, his father's business. And then he became a vegetarian. And this diet for a new America is a very, uh, very crucial, important book, and, uh, and allowing us to understand uh, the impact of our meat-eating habit, you know, on 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 the health of ourselves as well as on on our life on Earth. Now, in 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 his website called the EarthSafe.org, and there is a a, a discussion about the uh, the called the uh, the green gas. Most people. Uh, relate the green gas to uh, carbon dioxide, you know, gas as the major source mm-hmm. from the from the from the vehicle. Um, but it turned out that this carbon dioxide gas, although a problem in itself, but actually is not the real the main source of our global warming effect. And it turns out, although the automobiles emit the carbon dioxide, but they also emit aerosol, which somehow has a cooling effect. <laughs> on the global warming, uh, it doesn't mean that you know we should ignore this problem because the the, the aerosol uh, uh, gas uh, they can't degrade very quickly while the carbon dioxide stays up there. So the another major source is actually methane. You know, it's like like you said, and then and the majority of the methane, up to a hundred million tons of methane a year, come from our animal agriculture. So so we we somehow we have. Um, we have uh, turned our direction, our attention in the in the wrong area, yes. you know, yes. because it is the methane gas uh, from our meat-eating habit that is, you know, responsible for the for the good part of the global warming effect. Okay, we'll take a few minutes break, uh, break, and we'll we'll come back. 當然，我哋可以有時間就去個大自然裏面。我哋除咗個鞋呀、啊，喺嗰啲草地行走下咁樣樣咧，就可以做到個接地器。但係城市人工作咁繁忙嘅時候呢，咁、嗯、其實而家市面上呢，已經係有一啲接地器嘅產品呢。咁、嗯、喺我哋嘅健康店呢，已經呢度呢度呢，有好多嘅客人呢，就係、是、買咗返去屋企度呢，就每一日都可以接受到呢個接地器嘅治療啦。接地器產品呢，可以喺我哋六创意嘅健康店可以买到噶啦，联络电话系二八八二四八四八。其实好多我哋嘅人类嘅问题咧，同我哋嗰个饮食习惯系好大关系嘅。咁我哋一般过去咧喺，当我哋遇到啲所谓地球暖化呢个问题咧，我哋通常咧都认为咧个问题咧系二氧化碳嗰个释放吓，由我哋个工业啊，同埋我哋嗰、那个即系、就是、汽车里边嘅嘅排出嚟嘅二氧化碳咧，系一个主要嗰、那个。啊，導致地球暖化嗰、那個嗰、那個原因嚟嘅。咁但最近有啲科學家發現呢，其實呢，二氧化碳當然咧係一個問題啦。咁但係咧，當個汽車呢，同時呢都釋放另外一種嘅氣體嘅。呢種呢種氣體呢，嘅 aerosol 呢種氣體呢，其實呢，佢嗰、那個佢令到我哋個地球呢，其實有一種降温嘅作用嘅。咁甚至有啲科學家認為呢，其實呢，佢根本呢，呢、這個汽車發出嚟嘅 aerosol 呢種咁樣嘅。誒、呃，即係液液液液化嗰個氣流咧，個氣體咧係根本係抵消咗嗰個二氧化碳嗰、那個誒，俾、呃、嗰個暖化嗰、那個嗰、那個那個問題嘅。咁好啦，咁、那、嗰個問題到底喺邊處咧？咁根本而家好多人都已經睇出咧，其實我哋真真正正嗰個所謂誒嗰、呃那個温室嘅個個氣體咧，唔係只係二氧化碳咁簡單。其實有啲另外嘅氣體咧，係令到我哋個地球暖化咧。其實嗰、那個嗰、那個嗰、那個即係、就是、個後果係更加嚴重嘅。咁其中一個呢，就係、是、我哋所謂叫做沼氣啊 m e t h a n e m e t h a n e gas。咁呢沼氣呢、那個、那個產生嗰、那個誒、呃那個來源呢，大部分呢係係人類同埋個動物嗰方面嘅。咁我頭先俾你嗰、那個誒嗰、呃那個睇到個數據啦嚇。誒、啊
，可以睇到呢，即係诶、呃，虽然二氧化碳诶、呃、令到我哋嗰个地球嗰个暖化呢，係冇嗰个沼气咁犀利，沼气呢，差唔多可以话呢，係比二氧化碳呢係严重过二十一倍咁多嘅，即係当为一个。啊！嗰、那個溫室嘅效應嘅嘅嘅氣體咧，佢嗰、那個佢嗰、那個即係強度咧係二十一倍喺嗰個二氧化碳嘅咁。咁雖然過去咧啊喺即係工業革命誒、啊、之前到現在嚟講咧，我哋大氣裏邊嘅二氧化碳嘅濃度咧係大概升咗三十一個 percent 嘅，但係嗰個沼氣咧嗰、那個濃度咧係升咗成兩倍咁多嘅。咁可以咁睇到呢，即係嗰個我哋個問題個根源呢，唔係唔係我哋以為嗰二氧化碳呢。其實呢個問題個根源呢，係我哋嘅沼氣。咁沼氣多數邊度嚟呢？起碼我哋嘅現時嗰個食肉嘅習慣呢，我哋需要好多飼養好多動物啦。咁動物嘅糞便啦、排放嘅嘅臭氣啦，即係放屁啊、口啊呢方面呢，佢哋呢係差唔多每年呢係放出呢係成一百一億啊 ，one hundred million t o n 十亿啊，十亿吨嘅嘅沼气因源嘅，咁呢个呢系可以咁讲呢系喺跟住未诶诶、呃、未来咧，所以过去诶五十年里面呢，系可以话增加咗成五倍嘅，咁呢个会持续落去嘅，咁所以我哋真真正要面对嘅问题呢，就系、是、我哋嗰个食肉嘅習慣呢，系影响我哋个地球暖暖化呢个问题呢，系更加严重嘅，咁所以我哋今日请咗两位巴啊嘉宾咧。啊 ，Bobs 同埋阿 Bella 咧，佢哋就有一個即係、就是、有一個新嘅 project 啦，就救救人類嚇 ，save the human 啦。咁大家當都睇到啦。咁其實主要係呢，佢要提倡一下呢，我哋嗰個人呢，係人類呢，應該呢，係多啲係誒，即、呃、係、就是、用素食嘅方法啦，嚟到嚟到幫助我哋嘅地球嘅。咁好啦，咁其實誒素食誒、呃、香港都即係、就是、都有相當人嚇、啊、都素食嘅。啊，尤其喺宗教信仰關係啦，咁但亦都有啲係喺個人道嗰個立場嚟到素食啦，唔好殺身啦。咁但我而家所講呢，係救救我哋自己人類，喺我哋個地球個環保個方面呢，係進行素食嘅。咁我而家想知道呢，嗱，即係認識素食啊，因為宗教原因去做嘅人啊，我大家都知啦。但係因為環境嘅問題嘅嘅要素食呢，其實唔係太多人知嘅。So basically， 誒、uh, ，how are you going to， you know，、uh, Promote this. How are you going to make people more aware of this problem? Actually, Save the Human is a campaign. Um, we will、uh, about a short movie that we would like to、uh, send it through through internet to all over the world. Like YouTube is so useful now.、Mm. Everybody watch a short movie on YouTube, and one movie will circulate the whole world in just by a click. So this will be a three-minute、uh, short film. Hope to raise awareness about how vegetarian can change the world. And now we are going to launch this campaign soon, and we are now trying to raise funds from public. So everyone, if they like to take part, be part of the campaign, we can do it together. So it's not it's it's not our project. It's、mm. not just us. It's all people. It's all of us. Now, um, uh, like like I mentioned, you know, John Robbins, you know, has written some very good books. You know, the, the most famous of which will be "Die for a New America," which came out in the in the in the 1980s, right? And he has done a lot. You know, I mean, I was very much affected by you know by what he has revealed in his book. You know, the, the inhuman inhumane way we raise our animals. And I'm sure most people who really、uh, take time to read their book. Will at least temporarily become vegetarian, or at least yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right. But of course, you know, our memory is short. You know, we need to be reminded time and time again, and we need to understand this from 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 different angles. You know, John basically point out all the the health reason too. You know how、yes. how、um, a meat eating habit uh, uh, play habit with a lot of people's health. And there's another uh, very uh, 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 good book and very well uh, done uh, scientifically is.、Uh, It's called the China Study, you know,、mm. by、uh, by Dr.、Uh, Collins, and he's a well famous、uh, professor from Cornell University. And he, you know, that project was, you know, spent over a, a long period of time involving many many people, many scientists in in China. And the conclusion was very clear:、um, the more, the the less pe- people consume、uh, meat, 
the healthier they are in general. Okay. Now, um, so we are aware, you know, these books exist, and and John and uh, and, and, and Professor Collins' uh, work is is well publicized. Uh, why we need to uh, make another uh, movie? Is this all already been done, or as far as we know, it's not been done? Um, well, I haven't received it so far. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. On, as as an email in the YouTube, mm. so I think it hasn't reached it me. It needs to be it's, done. Yeah, it needs to be done. Mm. And like book, uh, like by uh, John Robbins, it has been so long uh, circulating, published for yeah. 20 years already. But a lot of people haven't read it because it's a yeah. book and it's mm-hmm. not um, going to be uh, circulate as as convenient as an email. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we te- we would like to make use of the internet yes. and the technology to circulate this just to everyone. Right. I must point out that it's not a movie. It's not even a documentary. It's a short um, music video. Video. MTV music style. Music video. Mm. Okay. Yeah. MTV style, but a conscious. With, with consciousness. Okay. So it'll possibly be um, about three minutes, it'll be a lot of images, it'll be shot and filmed in Hong Kong, but at the same time the message that we we all part of the solution and we all have to do is simply change our diets, move away from meat eating, dairy eating diet. So try and convey this message in a funky, cool way that would appeal to young people. Mm. And there's young people now who get most of their information from the internet. So our vision is to circulate this through YouTube and mm-hmm. MySpace and from inbox to inbox yes. to inspire young people because it is my belief that if young people, teenagers, for example, are very sensitive, if they know these facts, some of the facts we just spoke about, they will change. Mm-hmm. But this has been a, a very, well, what I call a hot potato. It's a subject that's very sensitive. Even Al Gore, with all the great things he's done, was very reluctant to talk about vegetarianism and uh-huh. eat, eating less meat. Mm-mm-mm. So a lot of pressure from the industry, the meat industry and the dairy industry and, yeah. and governments as well. So it's one of the least known facts, but it's, it's the most alarming. And we feel a music video um, would be a great way of spreading the message. But we also want to spread the message right here in Hong Kong through direct advertising, perhaps billboards. If we get enough sponsorship, we can have billboards that say, save the human, uh, stop global warming, go veggie, and and promote some of these facts. Imagine a billboard downtown. Instead of promoting a product, we can be raising awareness. Perhaps also advertising through um, MTR or buses or taxis. So this campaign is a public um, awareness raising campaign. It has no other motive except to raise awareness. And it is our belief that this is lacking today. We have the knowledge, we have the information, we have all these great books and a lot of great movies coming out. Mm. But what doesn't seem to be shifting fast enough is the people's awareness of these issues, of these facts. So we pretty much try and do anything we can through this campaign Mm. to raise public awareness. So that's um, uh, three minutes uh, music video. Music video. Uh, so we need music. We we need the yes. lyric too, right? I mean, to to even to play to sing the, uh, a short, you know, catchy song. Yes. Uh, do we have any people in mind? I mean, that might yes, be able to we, help. Yes, there you? are some musicians who have written some really good music mm. here in Hong Kong, and they are very happy to contribute this music towards this short uh, short music video. Mm. And some of their lyrics and some of their songs are very, very appropriate. Um, even, even better, they're, they're willing to perhaps write a new song, especially for this music video. Now, I mean, uh, the good thing about our, our internet culture is that uh, we can produce a lot of this information uh, with very low budget. Mm. Right? I mean, if you have people who, who are capable of doing and, and uh, composing the music and, and, and probably write the lyric and sing the song, and uh, and videotape is 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 you know, it's within most people's ability, mm. and putting it on a YouTube doesn't take much. Mm. So in some way, uh, we can actually get it done with, with mm. very little, very low budget. And but we, of course, putting yes. things on billboard is totally different. Thing, yes. right? that that would it's be expensive. Very expensive. Much bigger it can budget. be very expensive. Yeah. We also have um, a very good director. His name is Will Lau, and. Uh, a producer and quite a few people involved who are happy to volunteer their time and their energy to 
make a good quality music video. Mm. Um, something that's much better than a hand, handheld camera. Okay. Yeah, and we will have a lot of animations. We have oh, also an animator. Oh, okay. Yes, Bob Cole, he's a professional animator to do mm-hmm. a lot of animations about. So we, we want this to be seen by many as many people as possible. So right, it has right. to be of good quality, it has to be catchy, it has to be funky, it has to appeal mm-hmm. to young people as well. Mm-hmm. But all, all of this will require some funding. Right. Even though we're going to try and do it the best of our ability to on a very low budget. Right. It nevertheless needs some, some funding. Yeah, because I, 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 I you know, remember uh, recently someone sent me a, a clip you know, called The Story of Stuff. You know, mm. It's very interesting. Amazing. Very well Amazing. So I don't know. I mean, uh, a, a, a clip, it's almost like a 20 minutes something, right? Yes. And with cartoon in the background. It's very well done. Fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, so I thought something like that, you know, mm. and uh, probably can, it's achievable, you know. Mm. So, I mean, what what kind of uh, of of uh, budget are we are we you know, thinking of? Do we have any idea? You know, to yes, do, we're, we're looking at, at. I mean, of course, the budget just to get that video. Yes, you know. to to get that video up and running, we're probably looking at about two hundred thousand Hong Kong dollars, mm-hmm. two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand Hong Kong dollars, which is is not a lot of money in in the bigger scheme of things. Nevertheless, it, it's a substantial amount. Mm. Um, but this could come from more than one source. It, right. it could come from public donation or private donation or and corporate donations. Corporate donations, but we could, we could even do it for less than that. Right. Um, you know, it could be done on a shoestring. Um, so whatever budget we have, we will work with. Okay. Mm. Because if we want to, uh, if we could have better equipment, we could put it on bigger screen if we have a chance. You know, on mm. YouTube we can use uh, not so professional equipment. But if, for example, let's say if we want to put it on the Times Square screen, then we need different mm. equipment. Mm. Okay. So if we have a bigger budget, we can yes. do it in the first place that mm. uh, is the highest quality that we can use it everywhere. Mm. Yes. Now, I mean, uh, when you look at it, uh, look at the budget. You know, we're talking about uh, three minutes, right? No, three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Hong Kong dollar. Yeah, three hundred thousand dollars for a three-minute uh, midi- uh, music video. And I remember, you know, um, uh, remember a, a patient who used to produce this sort of thing. And then I remember one time that he was um, uh, doing an internal um, education video for an airline, convincing the staff to uh, change over to a new uniform. Hmm. <laughs> I was kind of amazed when he told me that. I said, wow, you know, why would they want, need to do that? You know, just you know, tell the staff we have a new uniform, you know, yeah. we just change over they, at a certain time. Somehow, you know, I guess they have enough money, they do it. Then I say, well, <laughs> how much does it take for you to do something like that? Well, he said about, about a million dollars. I said, wow, <laughs> million dollars. Crazy, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, so a uh, big company have this kind of, you know, that's the way they spend. Just to educate, internal education, to convince the staff to change over to a new kind of uniform. <laughs> So three hundred dollar, you know, uh, is is not really um, that much, you know, in terms of really doing a professional quality uh, video, uh, good enough for for big screen for TV. Right. The reason it's a low budget like that is because most people are volunteering Volunteer, their time yes. for free. So mm, mm. otherwise, you'd be paying producers, directors, assistants, animators, yes. so on and so forth. That mm-hmm. would easily hit a million. Right. Well, I mean, how do people participate? I mean, how, how do people, uh, you know... We have already a group. Uh, actually, we, have a, uh, we will have a website soon. Mm. But at the moment, we have a group on Facebook called Save the Human. Just S-A-V-E-T-H-E-H-U-M-A-N. Just Save the Human on Facebook. And if you are not a member of Facebook, you're most welcome to email either Bobsy or me. For English, you can email Bobsy, B-O-B-S-Y at Mac.com. B-O-B-S-Y at Mac.com. Or me, ipbella at gmail.com. It's I-P-B-E-L-L-A at gmail.com. Yes, okay, we, we will, we'd love we to hear them. from anyone who can help in any way mm. uh, through contacts or contributions. We'd, we'd be delighted to hear from people. Mm. Now, uh, this, this contribution is targeted, you know, for a project. Uh, I, I find out uh, people feel more comfortable, you know, if they are donating money for a very concrete project. And uh, 
I guess you know whatever money you you donate, your name will well three minutes might be too short to to have the, everybody's name there. But we but shall we will see. Find some we? way. Find yes. some way to, to, to appreciate, you know, yes, or maybe you know, on the uh, on the uh, on the video on, on in some other area, you know, we can acknowledge, you know, people who mm. help out in this project. Mm. And this is a local project, so we may be able to meet everyone, and we can have a party together, a launch party yes. of this mm-hmm. campaign, and it's easy. It's because this action is locally, but it's a global subject. Right. So. Uh, it can be shared by all the other, you know, organizations, you know, yes. all over the world. Mm. Yes, yeah. it's very meaningful. Because, uh, you know, you uh, better mention about, you know, we can get it circulated all over the world. As a matter of fact, they did a study. It takes about, uh, for email to circulate around the world, it basically takes seven transmission. If seven people, oh. you know, send to, to yeah. their people, and uh, in se- by seven times it will come back. <laughs> seven clicks. <laughs> seven clicks will come back. And also, uh, there was a, you know, it's a, it's a simple mathematics. If uh, each one of us will, will send the email to 10 of our friends, yeah. you know, just 10 like-minded friends, um, after uh, six times, it will reach a million people. Mm-hmm. So you can see the power you know, of yes. individual action. No media on earth can, can, mm. can have that kind of control. You know? There is so, hope. Yeah. So um, why this information you know, never appear on the mainstream media? Mm. If, if we know about this, um, this uh, t- uh, TV uh, 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 talk show, very famous one, um, the host was actually uh, being sued by the food company. And there's a law in, in the United States, you know, you cannot, uh, it's called the anti-food uh, bashing law, you know, you can't criticize, you know, meat eating. Mm. Uh, I'm sure you know, that, you know mm. the name <laughs> of the host. And so, but we are not, you know, we are not... Um, bashing any kind of food. We're just promoting, you know, a humane way of eating that can actually uh, save save our life, our future. And these are facts. These are really That's right. fact, statistic mm-hmm. facts. Yes. Yeah, what, what, I th- what I mentioned about, you know, about the uh, methane gas being a, 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 a more of a problem than the carbon dioxide is actually uh, well researched by very uh, noted uh, scientists. And this information uh, can be found in the... Uh, EarthSafe.org, you know, you'll be able to read up more about this. Anyway, I mean, whatever happens is, is all up to us, you know. I always say that uh, it, is, uh, it is I as an indi- individual who are willing to take some action and that is going to save our world. Mm. Little, little um, unknown fact as well, and, and this is being said recently that a vegetarian driving an SUV, which is a gas-guzzling big car, is more eco-friendly than a meat eater riding a bicycle. Oh, that's crazy, but when, whenever I mention this, it, it really grabs people's attention. Yes. And the whole idea behind saying save the human, I mean, what do you mean save the human? Surely you mean save the whale or save the panda mm-hmm. or save the tiger. Mm. Well, this is all very noble and good, but it's in my experience that a lot of people find this very detached and too far away from their own lives. But when you say save the human, it actually stops the brain and makes you think, what do you mean save the human? But in global warming and the destruction of our planet, it is us, the humans, who are, who are going to be needing saving. That means we can tell President George Bush, uh, Americans can keep their SUV. As just go, just go vegetarian, <laughs> and forget the Kyoto Treaty. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think telling uh, President George Bush anything will uh, make any difference. Is he ex-President George Bush or not yet? <laughs> right. Well, in uh, November, November seventh, or I think you know, soon. Deciding time. <laughs> I have, an, I have one question. So imagine, if fifty percent of the whole world population change from change to vegetarians. Yes. So just reduce? 
it just just reduce the meat eating, right? Okay. Do we have enough plantation land for crops? Yes. Really? Yes. Because at the moment we're feeding 60 billion animals on our plantation crops. So if these 60 billion animals were reduced by not eating them and not consuming them and not using them, um, there will be a lot more land available for humans to eat very healthy food, he healthy grains and vegetables and fruits. And also, one meat-eating person consumes 20 times more land than one vegetarian-eating person, and much less for a vegan as well. So just by doing simple maths, we see that there is a lot of land available for feeding 10 billion people. Because the animals have to be fed by all the grains that we raise for them. Mm. A, a good part of the grains that we raise are not for human consumption, actually as an animal feed. And there was, a, and it's mentioned in you know, John Robbins' book, you know, he said, if the Americans were to reduce their meat consumption by 10% only, we will have saved enough grains to feed all the hungry people in the world. Mm. You know, it's just, it's not that difficult. You know, if people really understand the source of our problem. And actually nowadays we don't eat meat because we need the protein. It's our desire. We actually don't need eating meat for keep being healthy. Yes. And we don't actually need that lot of protein. The cattle never eat meat, but he <laughs> eat only grass, but he's full of protein. Not to mention the elephant, the largest animal, or yes. the whale. These right. are the two largest animals in the world, and they, they're vegetarian. So... Mm -hmm. The whole so, thing about we needing protein is, is a myth. Well, it's, it's, it's a myth perpetuated by the meat producing industry. industry. Yes. And so on and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks very much, Bob Thank you. and Bella. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, we will uh, come back next week. So, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Mm -hmm.